Moving on to other news now, the Sutu's capital, Maseru, remains tense following violent protests by factory workers yesterday. The Association of Employers and Business and Textile Exporters launched an urgent court application to prevent the government from implementing a minimum wage hike for factory workers. This would be between 1,000 to 200 to 2,000 rand a month. are urging the employers to withdraw a court application and adhere to the plight of the workers. They have also called on employees to return to work and end the protest with immediate effect while allowing all parties to find an amicable solution. Meanwhile, South Africa's Justice Tihang Musenege is currently in Namibia attending the Troika Summit where he is expected to present a report on Lesotho. All right, we now joined on the line uh, by Mulifi Lebone Zhuang, a spokesperson for the Lesotho Wholesale Catering and Allied Workers Union. He is uh, in Masiru, Lesotho. Uh, a very good evening to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, take us back what the main problem is uh, that the unions are now facing in negotiations. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, as you have said, my name is uh, Lebone Zhuang, James Mulifi from the Coalition of Lesotho Trade Unions. I'm the spokesperson of the workers in the Wages Advisory Board, established in terms of the Lesotho Labor Code. I'm also uh, a coordinator in the Coalition of Lesotho Trade Unions. We are facing a big challenge in our country in relation to the implementation of the 2000 minimum wage, uh, which has just been declared and pronounced by the government of Lesotho uh, to apply to the textile industry in our country. Uh, when, the, when, when this was supposed to be implemented, the employers' association has filed an urgent application in the High Court, both in the High Court and the Labor Appeal Court of Lesotho, to block the implementation of the affair. Uh, what is very much disturbing is that the uh, affair is, it, is coming with the implementation of the asset both 7% to all sectors in our country, and 2,000 is only to the factory workers union. And the, the court order has effectively stopped every uh, incident. All right, now we do understand Hello? that the employers have now launched a counter-challenge to this impasse. Uh, what then for you? What's the next step? Are you going to continue with the stay away or are you going to wait for the court to make its declaration? Yes, uh, presently negotiations are going on. What the workers would demand is that uh, we demanded that the employers should amicably withdraw the case from the court of law we understand that they complain about the steps followed. They complain that some of the procedures have not been followed. But to our surprise, uh, the Wages Advisory Board has completed the whole uh, procedures and everything was correct. Even the publication, even the announcement of the 2000 was submitted by the government subcommittee, the uh, ministerial subcommittee, in the presence of the employer. And then we now don't understand why we do want to block this, because the government has established a government uh, a committee so that every employer who is having any problem with the 2000 should at least go and meet the subcommittee to raise the concern. Instead of doing that, employers opted to go to the court of law. What is the situation, uh, President, that the, the cases are pending? We are expecting that on Monday, uh, at least the case will, be, will have been finalized. Today, uh, at 2 o'clock, the case was supposed to be continuing. We have uh, now aware, been made aware that the employers have, have renewed their court interview. And then the case will be uh, heard tomorrow by 9 o'clock. The workers are still on stay away. They are not at work until Monday. And the preparation is that uh, the meeting of shop stewards from all sector industries in our country will be meeting in Maseru and will be meeting in Mapuche in order to calm the situation down. At least we have the feedback in, in convincing our members to at least not to come to the street, not to make all things which are 
blocking movement of the people in our country. Malifi, the strike action has been going on for over a month now and uh, we do understand that the reason you embarked on such a strike action is that the government could not meet the 14-day ultimatum uh, for them to accede to your demands. But uh, in a uh, sudden twist of events, the government did de indeed decide uh, to give you the much-needed 2,000 uh, mal 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 maloti increment that you so uh, wanted. For, now, for the first time in a very long time, the government is on your side. Was the government perhaps coerced into acceding to your demands or was it just a matter of of time that the government saw to it that workers are given uh, better living conditions? Uh, if I understand you very well, the government is still on its implementation. The government has not changed its mind. The government is very firm and is not deductible on that point, meaning the 2,000 which is much needed and the long awaited and which all governments have been saving to at least uh, comply with the International Labour Survey, which was conducted in 2012, in, 20, in 2012, every government has been failing in the show, but this government has at least uh, made a very good decision to uplift the life of the working class in the first time. The government is still on the, on the demand, and now the problem is only the employer. All right, Malifi, thank you so much for your update. We appreciate your time. Uh, that is Malifi Lebonejan, a uh, spokesperson for the Lesotho Wholesale Catering and Allied Workers Union Lem Kau. He is speaking to us from Maseru in Lesotho. This is the Global SAPC News. Thank you for joining us. Let's take a short break. We'll be back with more shortly thereafter.